Hello friends from the comic book and manga world. My name is G. And I'm Hector. And we're here to talk about the November 7th, 2022 FOC. Hector and I work for Penguin Random House and we manage sales internationally. So the publishers that we'll talk about are those that we can sell into the, that market um, around the world. Uh, aside from this YouTube channel, we're also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at PRH International Comics. So definitely check us out on those channels. And we'll get started here with our picks. So I actually think I go first here. And yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> by the way, this is not the final cover image, um, but it is beautiful. It's great. That's how yeah. I expect the dog to look yeah um, this is lovely muko volume one and this is by takayuki mizushina and this is actually there was an anime that came out back in 2015 it's very short episodes and this i mean for fans of that anime definitely would want to pick this up as well it's a very like everyday slice of life kind of thing the owner is like a glass, um, a glassmith, which is a very interesting pers uh, profession to have as mm -hmm. like a character uh, in a manga. I don't think I've ever seen that before in a manga before. Um, and then we have this uh, really, really happy <laughs> uh, Shibu uh, or Shiba who is, uh, whose face is always like that <laughs> <laughs> with the mouth. Uh, wide open. Um, she's very ecstatic, um, gets into antics, and it's just like a fun, like very funny um, ride as you're like reading through. Uh, so this is one of my picks for this week. It looks a lot like a, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Looking forward to this one. I actually like, um, I don't know if you've seen it, but the. Uh, different dubbed languages <laughs> oh no At, like for the anime it's like really funny to like look I, I like doing that sometimes like listening to voices in different languages it's, it's a lot of fun <laughs> um one thing to know nice hobby yeah one thing to know is this dog like really wishes that its owner was also a dog which uh. I think is <laughs> Um, Which is like, how we feel that that the animals, yeah, less less reflecting ourselves into that. Like, yeah, we think they want us to be like them. <laughs> awesome. Yes. So next is my pick, and I've been wanting to talk about this for a long time, but um, this is Made in Abyss, Volume Eleven, by Akihito Tsukuhuchi. Tsukuhuchi. Sorry about that. Um, this is one of my favorite mangas. It's also one of my favorite animes. Um, second season in English uh, came out just this past summer. Uh, there hasn't been an announcement for season three, but fans are, you know, pretty much there expecting there will be. And there's also there's been three movies made. So it's like the first season, there was three movies kind of filling in the gaps in between and then the second season. And um, the reason I haven't talked about this one before is because we didn't have right in most of the world. And recently, uh, Seven Seas acquired the rights for this for uh, for the world, worldwide, worldwide. So now all of you can order this and sell this to your customers. So I highly recommend it. It's a very cool story. It's this town in this world where there's this huge abyss. And it's endless and um, there's these, uh, you know, people who live in this town who are explorers called cave divers, because there are some parts of this cave where you actually have to dive and then there's like different levels. And depending on the level is how, you know, great of a cave diver you are. But also if you come back alive from one of these lower levels, obviously <laughs> you're a hero and they dive and they, bring in a lot of like what's supposed to be ancient tech and um, that is useful for the world and um, some relics that have, might have a lot of value, but there's also creatures and a lot of dangers uh, in these caves. And um, the story centers around uh, 
Rico, which is the little girl, the blonde girl that you see here on the cover. And her mom was one of the greatest cave divers. And one day she dove to one of the lower levels and never came back. So she's in an orphanage and she's starting to dive into the first level. And, you know, in this world, they let, you know, little kids, I guess, dive into caves. Uh, so she wanted um, at one point she's in danger and this little robot called reg shows up out of nowhere helps her and she you know brings him back to with her and because he has you know he's half boy half robot he doesn't know who he is where he came from or anything so uh she decides you know what i'm gonna do like my mom and i'm gonna go find my mom and i'm also gonna like dive and become like a big hero and I'm going to come back and Reg is going to help me. So they dive into the cave and these are the adventures of them in the cave. It looks really cute. It is extremely cute. There are some really funny moments. There are some extremely sad and extremely like dark moments. It's one of those mangas that first of all, don't let the cuteness of the, <laughs> of the illustration uh, so to fool you, it is very deep. There's some very deep themes and it's a great adventure one, but I'm telling you, there are some pieces of the parts that they're just going to grab your heart and just like, oh, really twist it. And, um, and there's some really edge of the seat, scary parts too. So I love this one. I really highly, highly recommend it. Um, and it, and if you watch the, the anime, I believe this one is already past what it's been animated. So there you go. You're going to get upset. If you get obsessed with it, like I am, then you can keep reading the stories with the uh, volumes that are coming out. Uh, next up, we're actually going to take a look at our uh, cover picks uh, for this yes. week. So first up, oh, I need to click into it. There we go. Uh, uh, actually, you're, you're actually here. it's mine first, so that's all right. And then, so I have two here from X Men Annual Number One. I actually love all the covers on this one, but I picked these two. I couldn't pick just one. Um, and we have on the left, we have Villa Lobos, and then on the on the right, we have the amazing Stephen Hans. And uh, these are just, I, see, I mean, you can just look at them and see how beautiful they are, uh, how they, uh, they play with the fire. And, um, and I love that, um, you know, they are, they, they show that the fire, both of them show that the fire is part of her. So, uh, and the Stephanie Hans is a one in 25. I mean, there's so much to say other than look at these. They are beautiful. There's also a Momoko. There's also uh, some other covers that you should also check out. OK, and my cover picks is Mary Jane and Black Cat. So we have issue number one. We have the Momoko Marvel Universe variant. And I really like what Nakayama is doing. Um, like. With the Deadpool um, mm -hmm. he did, it was like a magazine cover, but like that just, now, just came out this that week. That just came out this week. Yeah. And now we have this um, Daily Bugle cover with the duo um, here, and this is with the dark web tie-in. Mm -hmm. So um, there was a lot of good reception with the Mary Jane and Black Cat Beyond one shot. So I know mm -hmm. that a lot of people are highly anticipating this um, um, because we have like a longer, we'll, we'll stick with the characters a bit longer here. Uh, so I'm very, I'm very excited. So again, beautiful yeah. covers. Uh, and love... Nakayama, we both met at the yes. New York Comic Con. He's like the best person you could yes, possibly meet. Such a meet. nice guy. Just such a, a nice such person. Nice guy. Yeah, so, yeah. so Mo Momoko as well. Um, yeah, Momoko as well. It's Harry. just we didn't get a chance to really talk to him because the line was huge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we had to go really quickly. So we didn't have a chance to really, you know, stand there for a while. Um, I do want to mention, I, I love both of these artists. They love doing a lot with details that put it into these. And um, I love the fact that it's made in Momoko's is Mary Jane. And Black Cat and Spider Man, I kind of represented there with the Black Cat and the Spider, the yeah. Spiders. 
Um, and then um, on the other one, I love that. Obviously, you could tell that it's, uh, you know, Spider-Man reading the newspaper. Yeah. <laughs> it's comment. It's like, hey, nice. It's such a Peter Parker kind of comment. Oh, hey, nice. Look at these two on the cover of the Daily Bugle. So, awesome. Very cool. The next one, also two covers. We're we're going for two covers each this time. Um, this is Strange uh, number nine. That I love this series. This series has been amazing. Um, and you have on the left the main cover by Lee Garbet, Garbet, and then uh, Chiarello variant on the right. The the one on the left, obviously a main cover, is such a beautiful piece of art, and uh, League of Legends is doing a great job with the main covers for this. And you can, t uh, I love the pose. I love that there there's all these symbols in front, and you can tell that you know Strange and Clea are uh, looking at each other with a lot of love. I also love that he has the white hair now because it means I could at some point cosplay him with my white hair, which is awesome. Um, it's very beautiful. And then on the right, we have Charello. And I love when artists do these kind of, I don't know how to describe it, but it's sort of like in between iconographic, but also art. See, and um, I love that it has a lot for, uh, uh, you know, has the eye of uh, Agamotto. I always forget how to, how to say it. And then you have the, not two, but three hands in there. And it's very beautiful, sort of like a, like I said, like iconographic kind of art. Very, very cool looking and very clean. And I love the colors on it too. It's, uh, they're not, they're very uh, mystic colors, I think. Very cool. Uh, yeah, so uh, I guess this is uh, another. This was a must. Topic. Yeah, this is definitely a must. This is Adventures Forever. This is issue uh, two, the Stephanie Hans cover. 12. Issue 12. Um, 12. Why did I say two? I just I don't know. I missed the <laughs> one. The one, yeah. Uh, yeah, because this has been <laughs> coming out for a while. For a while, yeah. Uh, so there is one reason and one reason why I picked this. And then we have uh, the, the dog, Steve Rogers. Uh, version from a universe that is populated with dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's why I like it. I even like the the reflection on the shield. Like you see. Ah, like, I didn't his, notice the reflection before. Yeah. Very it's cool. great. I love it. That's that's pretty yeah. much why I wanted to. Um, yeah, and we're big fans of Stephanie Hans, and we uh, we also met her and and. And New York Comic Con, and I got to speak with her a little bit in Spanish. She knows a little bit of Spanish, so it's also very cool. But this is this is amazing. I love the shields in the back, and and this series have have been great because you and not just the stories, but in the covers you get to see the, you know, different artists doing the different representations of diff, of of different versions of the characters. Mm -hmm. So this is awesome, and this is probably the best. I, I gotta say, cool. the best. Yeah. Uh, you know. A dark version of uh, Steve Rogers. It's awesome. The next one is mine. It's uh, Wakanda 3 Coelho, a Ivan Coelho variant. Ah, oh, such a beautiful piece of art. Look at it. And I love how uh, characters in the background, it looks like you're like a Renaissance painting, you know, with uh, the characters kind of blended in between what looks like is fire and ice and wind. Um, and you have, uh, you know, kind of the focus on, I'm assuming that is storm in the middle. I don't know, I might be wrong, uh, but it, I'm assuming it is. And then you have all this uh, other characters in the background, they're kind of faded, but it's again, kind of posed and 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 colored in a way that it looks like a renaissance painting like something like michelangelo would paint basically uh very very beautiful this is i think a must it's gonna be a must for my collection obviously and ivan Coelho, i love ivan Coelho. i'm such a big fan Ah, and then we have planet hulk world breaker <laughs> this is issue number two 
this is the Shaw variant, and this is actually um, a, a one in 25, as you'll see here. Um, I just really like how it looks like a shadow looming, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, into a Hulk figure that's being attacked. Like, you almost are like, is it a shadow? Is it not? Kind of thing. But, like, the way that the, it's kind of, like, coming out, I just really, really like it, um, the cover itself. Um, I don't know what the bunny is doing there. But it looks um, very cool. <laughs> it looks very cool. I'm going to have to read through it. Um, premise sounds interesting um, with Hulk being exiled into an alien planet. So definitely something that I want to read into. So. Awesome. I think that's it, right? For I the think covers. that's it too, before I move on. Um, yeah, it is, it is. And then <laughs> we're going to go into our weekly announcement, right? Yeah. We're always doing yes, some, yes, a little yes. bit of news. So this is cool. Um, so Marvel reveals uh, the 2023 free comic book day titles. The first one that you'll see here, as you'll see, not the final art. We have Spidey and Friends. This is issue number one. Um, good for uh, if you want to bring the kids in uh, to the shops. This is the one to do it with. And then some other covers yep. that we have is the Spider-Man Venom issue number one for Free Comic Book Day. Yep. Um, and then we have uh, the Marvel Voices issue one and then the Avengers X-Men issue one that you'll see here. Very beautiful covers, all of them, and um, very cool titles. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, it's it's always, obviously, Free Comic Book Day is such a big thing, and not just for Marvel, for all other publishers, but um, it's a good chance to also start introducing some storylines and some characters mm -hmm. that you want to, for, for their summer events, which is what happened this year. So be on the lookout for those. And that's it for today. Uh, please take note that the opinions that Hector and I said in this video are our own, um, and it doesn't reflect the opinions of Penguin Random House as imprints or the clients that we represent. Uh, we do this every week, so we have loads of fun. Definitely comment below on your favorites for this upcoming FOC. And with that, uh, thank you for watching, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye.